Well, stopping terror on campus tonight. We have some new images and new insight into an attack on the Ohio State University's campus one year ago. And we are also hearing from the OSU police officer, a Fairfield native who stopped the knife wielding attacker in his tracks, saving lives. New at 11, Evan Millward cracks open the case file on the attack. It's previously unseen evidence you are seeing first on Nine on Your Side tonight. Fairfield's Alan Haruchko opens up about the moment he stopped Abdul Artan. We're able to piece together the investigation. Four discs featuring hundreds of photos like these, investigative reports, hours of audio. Seven or eight pedestrians. And body camera capturing the moment terror came to campus. Police department, we're here to evacuate you. If you're in here, make yourself known. Ohio State on lockdown. It's November 28, 2016, and the scene outside this lab is chaos. A car just ran through and hit about seven or eight pedestrians. Just go through. We need, we need an ambulance here fast, please. There's a guy hit. He's on the ground. 10-3, 10-3, get rid of the machete. He ran over the students with his car. I positioned my car closer to try to block off more traffic. And as I was getting out and running up to the vehicle, um, I noticed that the driver's side door was open, which it was kind of weird. Fairfield native Alan Haruchko was just starting a 16 hour shift that day, arriving outside Watts Hall to handle traffic for a report of a gas leak. And at that point in time is when I heard like a secondary wave of screams. In the ensuing chaos, he spots Abdul Artan. I yelled after him multiple times, you know, drop the knife, drop the knife, drop the knife, but he never looked back at me. Eventually, he did. Shots fired, one down. In crime scene photos, you can see Artan's knife. Police say this photo shows Artan buying it at a Columbus area Walmart hours earlier, and he had posted a manifesto on Facebook minutes before the attack, quoting, sick and tired of my Muslim brothers and sisters being killed and tortured everywhere, all pointing to a plan unaccounted for was a humble hometown hero. Grateful, I guess, just grateful I was there. I felt like there was a there was a plan that had me there that day. I, I don't really know how else, if you're religious or you're not religious person, but it seems like the stars aligned in some way to put me right there where I was needed to protect those people. I'm Evan Millward, nine on your side. The Ohio State University provided that interview for us tonight. A grand jury cleared Haruchko of any wrongdoing in this case back in May. Since then, he has been honored at the Ohio State House and in Fairfield.